Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another video. I hope you all had a great Christmas if you do celebrate it. And today I'm going to be going through my Christmas haul for 2020. Got quite a few cars to go through and before we do that, I just want to say I've recently created a Google form asking you guys which of these cars you want me to review first. So I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. The link will also be in a post about this haul on my blog. And that link will of course be in the description too, it always is. And you guys can fill out that form once you see which cars I get in the haul today, and you can decide which car I'll review first. So, judging by what the results in the poll are, I'll be reviewing the cars from most voted for to least voted for over the next few weeks. I'm really excited to be doing this. I've done polls in the past, but those were all polls with just five or less options. So I'm really excited to be able to do this where you guys completely get to decide the order in which I review the cars through your voting. And also on that poll, I threw in the race team Mater and Fillmore with headsets, who I got back last month but never had the chance to review. I'll be reviewing them in around the same time, so I decided I may as well uh, put them on the poll as well. Now, we have everything all set up for the haul. My camera's actually on a tripod, so you can see both of my hands. Uh, that's also why it's not where I usually hold it. Usually, you guys are more so over here. Um, but I usually do this in order of the Cars timeline. So Cars, Cars 2, Cars 2, Cars 3. I'm going to be doing that again, but I'm also going to be showing the Cars in release order. So, our first item here comes from the first Cars movie. And from all the way back in 2008, meaning that this is one of the oldest cars, will be one of the oldest cars I've ever unboxed when I do unbox him. And of course, when I unbox him, is all up to you guys. So this guy right here is none other than Axle Accelerator, a car that I'm really excited to finally have. Such a unique design. Of course, he shares a model with the Rescue Squad Trooper, but I actually don't have the Rescue Squad Trooper. So it's very nice to have him course from all the way back in 2008 he was number 58 uh, so if McQueen with bumper stickers number was before 58 um, then that means he's still the oldest car I've unboxed but if Axel came out before that McQueen then he will be the oldest car I've unboxed and I think that's really cool so now let's move on to our next item here which is a 2009 chase that would be none other than impound dj the impound variants of the tuners have been on my radar for the longest time now i'm really glad to have one of them now i've got to get uh the other three but really excited it's been years since i've unboxed a race o rama car i think i've only ever done two the lenticular sarge and saluting sarge it's funny they were both versions of sarge um but yeah really cool to have one of the impound tuners finally uh, and like I said, now I just have to get the other ones, but I could definitely do some fun stuff with this guy in Cars Adventures, so I'm really excited for that. Up next, we have what might just be my personal favorite item from this entire haul. I'm shocked that I got this, and I'm so happy I did. It is Mater with Hood. If you know me, you know I love uh, my Mater variants. And Mater with Hood is a pretty rare car that I've wanted for years now. And I'm so happy that I finally have him. It's unfortunate that he was only ever released as a lenticular. But I'm okay with that. You know, I'm so glad to have him after all these years. Of course, based off the scene in the car's credits where Mater finds his hood while fishing with McQueen in a ravine. Of course, a 2010 chase release. And of course, since that Mater is a chase, that means he can't be re-released at least not as a lenticular. You see, one time back in 2016, Mattel found a loophole. In a five-pack, they re-released a former lenticular chase with fixed eyes and labeled it as a new release. Since it technically was, and that didn't violate their policy against re-releasing chases. But why just explain that when I can show it to you? Because our next item right here is the Radiator Springs Cleanup 5-Pack. This was part of the 2016 Radiator Springs Classic line and includes two exclusive cars, Ramon, a green Ramon with a paint gun, labeled as Paint Job Ramon on the back of the box, 
and the fixed eye variant of Guido with paint rollers, here labeled as Guido with paint supplies. It also includes a regular Sally, a regular Luigi, even though the original lenticular uh, release of Luigi and Guido here labeled him as Luigi with bucket. This time around, Guido just has all the paint supplies. And Tar McQueen. I actually don't have Tar McQueen, so this was a great pack for me to get since, of course, two exclusives and a really common variant of McQueen that I somehow didn't have before. I guess I just never considered picking him up because he's such a minor variant. I'm really happy to have a new Sally and Luigi too, because I'm definitely going to use those guys for repaints. I'm just super excited to have this 5-pack with a bunch of cars that I didn't already have, including a great looking Ramon, that great, formerly very rare when he was only a lenticular Guido, and of course the McQueen as well. Our final item from the first Cars movie is also the newest item in the haul. It is none other than Ben Dordan, another car that was previously very rare as he was only ever released in a four pack with the rest of the Bumper Save pit crew which cost you well over $100 if you wanted to get it on eBay. But now Ben here is out as a single as part of the 2020 mainline and is one of only a few cars in the 2020 mainline that I was not able to find in a store. Um, and as you can see, he wasn't found in a store since he has an Amazon uh, barcode sticker there, but that's okay. Really glad to have this guy, Ben Dordan, the Ponchi Wipeout Crew Chief. And now from there, we move on to Cars Tunes, where I only have one car, but it's a car I'm really excited to have. It's the Kabuto Ninja. I have really big plans for the Kabuto Ninja and Cars Adventures. I'm really excited to start using that. I'm probably going to do it really soon in the series. A great release. One that's definitely great to have more than one of. Uh, although, of course, this is my only one. And one of just a few tuners that I didn't have from Tokyo Mater that are on the affordable side and won't destroy your wallet. I'm looking at you, you Jimbo, and... Bye bye to your wallet car. Great release. You guys know that I love getting cars from Tokyo Mater and the Tokyo scenes in Cars 2. This is just another one to check off on my list. So now let's move on to Cars 2 where we've got some more great cars. Up first, Alex Vandell, a car that I think is a little disappointing. This guy is the car that goes through airport security at the airport in Cars 2. And they do a really clever joke there, um, and a very predictable joke where he goes through the metal detector and it beeps because he's a car, he's metal. Um, but just like how in real life they'll have you take off your shoes when you're going to go through that metal detector, in the Cars universe, they have you take off your tires. As you can see here, Alex is not wearing any tires on his die cast. I'm just a little disappointed though because if you look on the artwork, his wheels are much, much smaller and here the wheels are absolutely huge. What a very nice release, another chase, um, a pretty unique one. Even though he doesn't have any tires, I could definitely get some use uh, in videos with this guy just using him as a background character. And now moving on to our next item here, another really, really exciting one, another more recent item. Globy. A car so cool, he can't fit in the frame. There we go. Just gotta, you know, we'll hold him all the way back here. I just have to make sure not to drop him. The first 2019 Super Chase World Grand Prix Globy, one of the most unique cars diecasts ever, I think, and probably my personal favorite Super Chase of all time. It's just such a unique car. He's based off of a mascot. His artwork isn't an actual character. His artwork is an inflatable. Such an incredible release. I think he's definitely the right way to go when it comes to super chases. Just something that you would never expect to see made. Globy here feels like one of the cars that I would put in the Cars That Should Be Made episode as just a release I would never expect to see. Like Lightning McGrill. By the way, Mattel... Please release the Lightning McGrill. That would be absolutely amazing. But yeah, this is Globy. Great car to have. One of my personal favorites from the haul. Another personal favorite from this haul is another car that I couldn't find in a store this year who was released this year. 
Corporal Josh Coolant. The only new release from Cars 2 this year, not counting the Silver Racer variants. That's kind of rough. Originally cancelled back in 2012, it was so great to finally see Corporal Josh Coolant here released. Although his color scheme is definitely a bit off compared to his artwork, so glad to have this guy, to have one of those army cars from Cars 2, and I'd absolutely love to see more in the future. And that's actually it for the 155 scale die casts in the hall, but there are still four cars left. One from Cars 2 and three from Cars 3, all of which are Disney Store pullback releases. Up first is Francesco. I always like getting the more important characters from the Disney Store. I especially love getting characters from Cars 2 from the Disney Store, so it's nice to have Francesco here. And as I said, the other three are Disney Store cars of Cars 3 characters, all three of which I absolutely love how they turned out. I really like these guys. Up first we have George Newwin, who in classic Disney Store fashion is just completely removed from the uh, ties that are supposed to keep them secured in the packaging. If you look at Francesco here, if I flip him upside down, he's secure, he's in there. Not George though. I already have the 155 scale die cast of George Newwin, but I wanted this guy because I just really like how he turned out. The same goes for our next guy right here. Rev Rotages, the veteran racer for vinyl toupee. Usually I wouldn't really have much interest in the background race cars that I already have from Mattel, but I just loved how Rev and George turned out. And the third Cars 3 Disney Store car and the final car of the haul is one that I actually don't have in 155 scale, Bobby Road Testa. A really cool car. Uh, one of the only Cars 3 Veteran Racers I don't have. I don't have the regular TG Castle Nut, and I think that might be the only other one I'm missing. But it's nice to get at least some version of him, since I don't have his Mud Racer variant either. I'm really excited to review this guy, because I've never reviewed any Bobby Road Testa before. Anyway, though, guys, that marks the end of the 2020 Christmas haul. Thank you all so much for watching, and please make sure to vote in the Google form link in the description for which car you want to see me review first, and then again I'll be reviewing them from most wanted to least wanted. See you guys next time. Bye now.